Hello children, welcome to your channel. Yesterday, as per your request, I have given the video on percentage. The basic idea of percentage I have done yesterday. Yesterday I told you, today I will give you some more sums. So, today I will do some more word problems based on percentage. So, children, I try to cover the different types on the basis on this you can solve the other sums also i hope so if you have any doubt in a, or any problem in any particular types of sums that you can tell me it will be easier for me to make a video because the chapters are long many sums are there all sums we can't i can't do in one video Okay, children. So, any special problem, any special doubt, special types of sum you are not able to do, you are uh, facing problem. So, you tell me that special type of sum, then I can make the video on those types of sums. Okay, children. So, let us start. The first sum I am taking that is a basket contains 350 eggs. If 12% of the eggs are rotten, how many eggs are good enough to be sell? Okay, to be sold. So, what first you will see what are given, what information are given in the in the question. So, first thing it is given the total number of eggs. What is that? That is 350, 350 eggs. Out of these 350 eggs, 12 percent of eggs are rotten. So, the shopkeeper will not be able to sell all those rotten eggs. So, how what are the number of good enough eggs so that the shopkeeper can sell? Okay. So, for that you first you will write down the information you got from this question. The information that we got that is total total number of eggs. total number of eggs okay total number of eggs we know that is what 350 we have total 350 eggs Achha, now you will write that next information it is given to us that is percentage percentage of Rotten eggs. Percentage of rotten eggs is what? That is 12 percent. This is 12 percent. This is not the actual number. This is percent means out of 100 eggs, 12 eggs are rotten. That I told you yesterday, what is the meaning of percentage? So, out of 100 eggs, 12 eggs are rotten. So, now we will find out the actual number of rotten eggs. Okay. So, number of Number of rotten eggs equals to 12 percent of we know the total number that is 350. This is our total number. So, we will solve you know how to do this La yesterday's video you have done this thing. 
So, 12 by 100 into 350. So, we cut this 1 0 and 1 0. Now, you cut 5 2 is a 10, 5 7 is a 35, 2 6 is a uh, 12 that is 42. So, actual number of rotten eggs is what? 42. So, simply one thing we will do that is we have to find out what? We have to find out the sellable eggs which are good enough so the shopkeeper can sell. So, you will write number of number of I am writing good egg you can uh, say you can write sellable eggs also good eggs three hundred and fifty minus forty two okay children so if you will subtract this you will get the answer okay so let me go to the next sum you can give pause and you can write down the sum copy down the sum okay then let us do the next one in this sum I am telling you the sum you will understand 70% of the student in a school are boys and the number of girls is 504. Find the number of boys. Now see that here total number of students not said. Okay. It is not given what is the total number of students. So, but it is given 70% of that total number of students are boys. And number of girls given that is 504. So, let us see what we can do. First, you, uh, first the information has not given that we will write. First, we will write let total number of student Total number of students be x. Okay, we are taking let the total number of students be x. Next, we will do the percentage of boys. Percentage of boys we know that is what? That is percentage of boys. Yes, boys. Equals to what? 70%. 70%. The percentage of boys? 70%. 70% of what? 70% of total number of students. Okay. So, uh, now... We will find out what is the percentage of girls. Yes, we can do it. You see that percentage of girls. Now see what I told you 70% means out of 100 students, 70 students are boys. So remaining are definitely girls. Right. So, what we will do? We will do 100 minus 70. That is what? That is 70 percent. 
see properly children don't do i have no space i am writing again you see 100 minus 70 then definitely definitely you give the percentage sign this one only i wanted to tell you equals to what percent 30 percent so percentage of girls in that school is what 30 percent okay but they have given the actual number of girls also they have given that so from there we can find out the total number of students of that school how we can find out we can find out this way that number of girls we know number of girls number of girls equals to what 30 percent of total number of student that is our x equals to in our question it is given that it total number of girls is 504 so we will write equals to 504 okay so how we will solve we will solve 30 by 100 into x or you can write 30 x equals to 504 okay i am writing this line you can Take the screenshot. So now we will solve it. That implies x equals to 504 504 multiplied by 100 will come up 100. divide by it is multiply with x 30 so side is changing so sign will also change so 1010 we can cut now 313 3 1 3 18 3 8 24 so our total number of student of that school is 168 multiply by 10 that is 1680 so easily now we can find out what is the number of boys therefore number of boys equals to 1680 minus the number of girls already given in our question that is 504 so you subtract this 504 so you will get the number of boys okay children is it clear to you you do the subtraction and find out the number of boys of that in that school. Okay. One more sum we will do. That is a fruit seller had some apples. He sells 40% of them and still has nine uh, 420 apples okay find the number of apples he had originally again i am saying you understand try to understand a fruit seller had some apples not said that 
how many apples the fruit seller had. He sells 40% of them, not the actual number, 40% of them he sold. So what we will do? First we will take the total number of uh, apple he apples he has the shopkeeper had that is x let the total number of apples the shopkeeper had that is x now percentage of apple he sold is what it is given that is 40 percent okay so now the same way this sum we have done you can find out the it is given also and still he has nine four hundred and twenty apples four hundred and twenty apples he had so first we will find out what percentage of apple he has so what he will do hundred minus forty percent that is what sixty percent of apple he has so, 60% of total number of apple means x equals to this one that given it is that is 420. So, this way you can solve and you can find out the answer. Children, you do this sum. It is uh, the sum I, ha I, I am reading again. I am telling again you can copy down the sum. Uh, the fruit seller had some apples. The, he sells 40% of them and still has 420 apples. He has after selling he has 420 apples. Find the number of apples he had originally. So children you do this sum and you write in comments that whether you have done this sum you you could do this sum or not if you cannot do this sum you see this my previous sum boys and girls in the school the same way you do this one okay children so today is this much and if you have again i am saying if you have problem in any particular type of sum that you write and send it to me then it will be easier for me to make the video then i will do that particular types of sums i will discuss that type of sums only otherwise it is become very difficult to make a video because i can't make a long video okay so this much for today children be safe and take care of yourself and bye bye